and approaching the ring from Bulgaria, weighing 305 pounds, Rusev. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. A lot of whispers backstage about whether or not this guy has what it takes to get the job done here tonight. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. This battle just begun, and you can guarantee that these two are ready to go to war. The winner of this one will be making a statement that everyone will hear. Rusev debuted at the 2014 Royal Rumble and was the number six entrant. He didn't waste any time in manhandling his opponents. To get an idea of how powerful and dominant Rusev is, think about it like this. It took four superstars to eliminate him from the Rumble. He's been destroying superstars ever since. the reversal from Rusev. That was like seeing someone getting hurled. Wow, what a reversal by Lesnar. Yeah, I know they call him the Beast, but that was just beautiful. Oh, wait, nice reversal. King, I've been an announcer for this company for more than 15 years, and in that time, I've never seen the type of pure destruction I have at the hands of Rusev. The former powerlifter and Muay Thai expert has just mauled every superstar that he has crossed paths with. And we can't forget, Cole, that Rusev is led to the ring and advised by that ravishing Russian Lana. Which means, when she says, Rusev crush, bad, bad things happen. This could be big. Oh man, does he have that arm submission in tight? Really going to work here, just wrenching that thing. Brock Lesnar takes the upper hand here. Oh no, wait a minute, Cole, what's he gonna do here? This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. Rusev is known as the boot kick. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. If that didn't slay the monster Brock Lesnar, nothing will. A nice shot by Brock Lesnar. Not today, too fast. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. can't feel good. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. The shoulders are down!
Rusev's domineering power and unbelievable athleticism is only matched by one other aspect. The Bulgarian Brute's rabid thirst to destroy. Oh man, does he have that arm submission in tight? Looking good so far, not much damage, if any, has been absorbed. It looked like his whole neck just crumbled there. Maneuvers like that put everybody in danger. No kidding, that's awful. The shoulders are down! Two. Looking to be in great shape here. It doesn't appear as though any damage has been done. He controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Incredible counter! Brock Lesnar has had an incredible career and his share of pay-per-view moments. Now I'm gonna go back to SummerSlam 2002 when Brock Lesnar beat The Rock for the undisputed WWE Championship. That match is one of the greatest championship matches in sports entertainment history and made Brock Lesnar the youngest WWE champion ever. Oh, out of nowhere! Rusev reverses it. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. King Brock Lesnar versus The Rock at the 2002 SummerSlam pay-per-view was an historic battle. Doug Brock versus Rock, the way Brock Lesnar defeated the Great One that night at the Nassau Coliseum, showed the kind of career Brock Lesnar would forge in this industry. Simply amazing. Well, Cole, you're absolutely right. I remember calling that match at SummerSlam between Brock Lesnar and The Rock, and it was such a back-and-forth contest. Either man... Oh, man, does he have that arm submission in tight? We're looking at complete domination here. Lesnar looking to fly. Wow, what a move from Brock Lesnar. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. Somebody's gonna get hurt in this match. Wow, he's still down after that. We've talked at great lengths about Rusev's annihilating offense. He can do it here. I think he's got it. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. I don't think there's an area on that back that's not suffering right now. Yeah, when he wakes up in the morning, the only thing on his body that's not going to hurt is his pajamas. Must be award season because Rusev's going to end it with the accolade. Well, I guess that's only fitting for this big Russian. And he makes it to the ropes. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Nice escape by Lesnar. And it's moves like... Oh, they're taking a risk here. That's how you win matches. Stay down. Stay down. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. What a counter that was! Oh, wait, nice reversal. Even if you can get back to your feet after a move like that, at this stage of the match, your covers. One, two. Rusev's a man of domineering power, surreal athleticism. And along with his social ambassador, Lana, reviles in human suffering and complete destruction. The more Rusev's detested by WWE fans, the more agony the brute happily doles out. Yeah, and one of the things that's most horrifying about Rusev 
is that while he's completely demolishing his opponent, he shows absolutely no emotion. None. Nothing. That's when you know you're dealing with the worst type of evil. The shoulders are down. Two. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. I like what I'm seeing here from Brock Lesnar. Rusev's ability to decimate makes him appear like more machine than man. This nightmare, the brute, makes every movement one of pain for opponents. Watching Rusev compete is like watching a sanctioned mauling of another human being. Rusev's that dominant. And what a reversal from Rusev. He's looking at it again. And there's the submission hold. Will this do it? This is such a painful hold. What a match. Momentum has shifted back and forth repeatedly between these superstars. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hold now before his opponent. Hey, this may very well be it. And again. They roll out of the ring, hoping to recover here. Oh, what a shot. That did some serious damage. Brock Lesnar, what a crafty maneuver. Wow, look at that power. What makes it even more impressive is that it's all in one motion. Can he score the pin? I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. Is this it? And Brock Lesnar nails it. Oh man, there's the finisher. And into the cover. One, two, three. He did it, what a huge win. Let's see what happened during that incredible matchup. I can't believe what we saw in that match. Oh, what a spectacular match. Oh boy, that was a spectacular performance. Here's your winner, Brock. Big singles win here, guys. This guy impressed the hell out of me tonight, Michael. What a victory. What's going to happen next week on SmackDown?